said, it's your old pal B Trip coming at you with yet another one of these um, book reviews on video. And this time we're looking at Chris Brogan and Julian Smith's The Impact Equation. Hope you enjoy. The Math of Making an Impact. My review of The Impact Equation by Chris Brogan and Julian Smith. This one came to me courtesy of the authors. Chris Brogan, at Broken Media, had queried on Twitter whether anybody was interested in getting a review copy, and, of course, my virtual hand shot up. It's the second book from Chris Brogan and Julian Smith, at Julian, although it's not exactly a follow-up to their previous trust agents. To start on a gripe, as I've noted previously, I have issues with mnemonic acronyms that don't immediately prove memorable or useful. Admittedly, not everything can be as awesome as the one for remembering how CSS properties are called around an object, trouble, top, right, bottom, left, but so often these are more useful in marketing an idea than applying it, and I was, frankly, disappointed that the impact equation, are you making things happen or just making noise, was, to a certain extent, built around one of these. At least in this case, I have been able to retain the word create, which is what is spelled out in the equation. Impact equals C times parentheses R plus E plus A plus T plus E close parentheses, where C equals contrast, R equals reach, E equals exposure, A equals articulation, T equals trust, and E equals echo. And I did have to look up those, so they don't exactly stick in my head from reading the book. I have a suspicion that perhaps the authors had come up with this equation as a way to analyze social media program, despite their prefaces homage to Magritte, and then extrapolate it out into a general business function. In the early parts of the book, there are several examples of charts and case study breakdowns which take various elements of either hypothetical or real-world McDonald's going into the coffee bigs, Instagram success, etc. situations and block out these according to those six categories. However, the rest of the book is less about analysis and more about how to achieve these various elements in one's business or projects. The book is divided up into four sections, goals, ideas, platforms, and network, with the latter three handling two each, oddly not in order, of the six elements of the equation. Most of these chapters end with an analysis according to the equation of a company slash example, more or less highlighting the specific element being discussed. The fact that they ended up approaching the particulars in a different order than how they are set out in the equation, I think is telling on how limiting these acronym approaches are. Now, I realize that, considering the above, one might assume that I didn't much care for the book, and that is not the case only that it seemed to me that the messages of the book were being needlessly contorted to fit what was, possibly, a framework conceived in a rather different context. Obviously, all six of those elements are key for reaching an audience in the current web-connected world, and Chris and Julian, and to their credit, the writing fairly seamlessly keeps a constant voice, are quite approachable here. Frankly, most of the time, I had the sense of sitting around listening to friends riff on a subject rather than being pontificated to by some expert. The book is chock full of recommendations for particular tools, resources, and books. I actually bought a piece of fiction due to their strong recommendation of it, and most of my little bookmarks ended up marking these rather than blocks of text to quote here. However, one thing I think I want to point out is that, in the equation, the element of contrast stands apart and is pretty much the defining element of that construction. As many other social-slash-marketing writers have noted, excelling in a tightly defined niche is probably the best bet any of us can have in a world that has tens of millions of content creators, all looking for a sliver of the available attention. One thing that Brogan and Smith recommend here, which plays to this, is embracing your quirks. We both have been recently working hard on self-actualization, for lack of a better term. We have both worked harder at being ourselves, unflinching versions of what we feel and believe. One piece of advice we have about the process, package your quirks. What do we mean by that? There are many unique things that make you who you are. 
With a little bit of pruning and positioning, the parts of you that are quirky and different can often separate you from the crowd in a positive way. Packaging simply means putting a little bit of attention and mindfulness into the way you represent yourself to the outside world. Now this hits home for me as it's certainly in direct opposition to the voices saying that you need to live your life as if your mother is watching, self-editing and conforming until you're just another sheep in the herd. Anyway, with the assorted caveats detailed above, I enjoyed reading the impact equation and felt that I got quite a lot of value from it, although I must admit that I've not gotten around to doing a few of the exercises presented in the text as yet. Again, this isn't a book on theory, and it's certainly not a textbook, but as noted, it's like having a long, wide-ranging talk with a couple of friends who are very passionate about the way that things get presented in the ever-increasingly web-centric world we live in. As one might expect, the online big boys have this at a substantial discount, but I'd bet you'd probably still be able to find this at your local brick and mortar, having come out just this past fall. If you have an interest in social media, marketing, or the general direction that the world is going, you are likely to get quite a lot out of reading this one.